How's it going, everybody? Today we're talking about episode 929 of CBS Radio Mystery Theater. That is a horror story. It came out in 1978, and this episode was actually so gruesome and graphic that they had a warning before the broadcast went, which they typically didn't have for CBS Radio Mystery Theater. Uh, even at the time when this came out, in 78, this was kind of testing the limits a bit. Uh, the story is pretty comparable to like the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, except it spans from uh, France to New Orleans. Uh, the story starts out with a man walking into an abandoned two-story building in New Orleans. He finds a brick loose in the chimney, and he pulls out the diary of Gaston Donier. And uh, the diary reveals that Gaston Donier was an assistant chef and uh, in France, and the head chef became sick, so he was charged with making dinner for the Count. Uh, this was a huge deal, and uh, Gaston Donier, in all of his stress, just decided, mm, let me just take a kitchen mallet onto the assistant chef's head. So, you know, uh, the Count loved it, but replicating that meal can be problematic. He soon leaves, he goes to New Orleans, he opens up a famous restaurant there, and also a shoe store. But you're never gonna guess what the shoes are made out of. It's an amazing story, and I think that the ending of it is one that, uh, it's, it's not a supernatural story until the very ending of it. And I think it's a really cool turn. Everything is very much grounded in a way where this could all happen in reality until the very end, and I think it's a very satisfying one. This episode was written by Elspeth Eric, uh, who wrote over 100 episodes for CBS Radio Mystery Theater and uh, acted in just as many. Um, she started in the 1940s as a actress playing mainly gun malls, the uh, gun-toting better halves of the not-so-gentlemen of the organized crime world. And um, she quickly broke the mold and... Um, broke out of acting and became uh, became a writer for many episodes. Uh, if you look at Elspeth Eric's career on CBS Radio Mystery Theater, people are very much divided. It seems people either absolutely love Elspeth Eric or they absolutely think she's overrated. Um, I think that uh, Elspeth Eric has some of the strongest episodes. I think that also... Some of her episodes that she's written are very much slow burns. She tries to work in um, answering questions to life's bigger uh, problems, you know, emotional questions, uh, things of that nature. Um, I think the best example of that is an episode that she wrote called Ghost Talk, which is literally a, a wife who loses her husband. And when the husband goes into the afterlife, he realizes until his wife gets over the grief of losing him, he's stuck in limbo as well. Uh, so it becomes almost a comedy drama where he's trying to convince her to, you know, move on. And uh, so that he can move on in the afterlife. Because believe it or not, in the afterlife, he's got somebody he wants to marry now, too, that's already dead where he is. And uh, the way they portray God in that is very much a, can you guys just leave me alone? I gave you a life. Please go do something with it. I can't fix everything. The bulb on this star went out. I'm fixing that. Come on. But it, it's it's really interesting. I think that she had a really interesting take um, in every story that she wrote. Um Again, some of them are slower burns, but I think she did a great job. I think she's a great writer. I don't understand the hate. Either way, check it out. A horror story. It's amazing.